Amidst the Israel-Hamas war, U.S. President Joe Biden has taken a direct dig at Hamas and Russian President Vladimir Putin and said they represent different threats but they share war in common. He stated that both Putin, who inflicted war on Ukraine and Hamas, want to annihilate a neighboring democracy. He said, and I quote, Palestinian families are suffering greatly because of them. Meanwhile, Putin has denied Ukraine has or ever had real statehood. You know, the assault on Israel echoes nearly 20 months of war, tragedy, and brutality inflicted on the people of Ukraine, people that were very badly hurt since Putin launched his all-out invasion. We've not forgotten the mass graves, the bodies found bearing signs of torture, rape used as a weapon by the Russians, and thousands and thousands of Ukrainian children forcibly taken into Russia, stolen from their parents. It's sick. Hamas and Putin represent different threats, but they share this in common. They both want to completely annihilate a neighboring democracy, completely annihilate it. Hamas' stated purpose for existing is the destruction of the state of Israel and the murder of Jewish people. Hamas does not represent the Palestinian people. Hamas uses Palestinian civilians as human shields, and innocent Palestinian families are suffering greatly because of them. Major Mohammad Ali Shah, defense expert, joins us uh, for more details on this story. Major Shah, how do you interpret uh, the U.S. president's latest comments? Well, Uday, uh, this is something which uh, both Israeli military and the U.S. had been saying from the very beginning. And it's not something uh, little. We have been doing a lot of guesswork about, about it. We have been analyzing that because we all know about Hamas's capability and it was known as a primitive... Uh, I'll not call it primitive army, I'll say a primitive gang, rather I would say, who were only famous for using catapults and such things. A very, very primitive formation. Suddenly, we see them doing uh, paragliding and uh, making attacks with rockets of over 5,000, 6,000, 7,000 rockets in just a few minutes only. So we were anticipating and we were expecting perhaps, most certainly, they could, there has to be an external power behind it they cannot hamas is not that strong enough or that cable enough to uh, launch uh, we, we, we are talking right now uh, major shah about uh, joe biden's comments where he has uh, spoken about uh, the comparison between russia and hamas right so i am uh, discussing that only there you know because hamas doesn't have that uh, that capability so that is the reason america had early only said that to, so far no evidence has been brought as yet and same thing the Israeli military had said. Now, the, when you say the comparison between the Hamas and the Russian, I think it will be unfair. It will be unfair because Hamas is a designated terrorist banned outfit, whereas the Russian army is a professional military, 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 is a professional army. So, one cannot really compare the, uh, the Russians with the Hamas, definitely. But most certainly, there could be a lot of guesswork if if you ask me because uh, iran was uh, was uh, celebrating behind the curtain they weren't really coming forward but the very fact is where has hamas got so much of strength from right because paragliding and then firing those rockets it cannot happen overnight for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon